and in order to continue enhancing service delivery and make it more efficient, more focused, and better to the Kenyan people, I intend to make certain changes and reorganize government as follows. I have moved the State Department of Cooperatives from the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade, Enterprise Development and Cooperatives to the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and renamed them as the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives to allow for better management. I have moved the State Department of Youth Affairs from the Ministry of Public Service, Youth, Gender, to the Ministry of ICT and Innovations and renamed them as the ministries, the ministries as the Ministry of Public Service and Gender, and the ICT as the Ministry of ICT, Innovation and Youth Affairs. I have also made the following nomination for consideration by the National Assembly. One, the Honorable Mutahi Kagwe as Cabinet Secretary for Health. Ms. Betty Miner as the Cabinet Secretary for Industrialization. Ambassador John Weru as the Principal Secretary for Trade. Dr. Juan Ouma as the Principal Secretary for Vocational and Technical Training. Ms. Mary Kimonye as the Principal Secretary for Public Service. Ambassador Simon Nabukwesi as the Principal Secretary for University Education and Research. Mr. Solomon Kitungu, Principal Secretary for Transport. Mr. Enoch Mumani Onyango as the Principal Secretary for Physical Planning. I have also today reassigned duties of Cabinet Secretaries and Principal Secretaries as follows. One, Ambassador Rachel A. Omamo as the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs. Ms. Cicely K. Karioki as the Cabinet Secretary for Water, Sanitation, and Irrigation. The Honorable Peter Munya as the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries, and Cooperatives. Ambassador Dr. Monica K. Juma as the Cabinet Secretary for Defense. Mr. Simon K. Chelugui, the Cabinet Secretary for Labor. The Honorable Ambassador Okur K. Yatani, the Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury and Planning. Mr. Joe Okudo, the Principal Secretary for Sports. Dr. Chris Kipto, the Principal Secretary for Environment and Forestry. Dr. Kevin Desai, the Principal Secretary for East African Communi Community. Dr. Margaret W. Mwakima, Principal Secretary for Regional Development. Ms. Esther J. Koimet, Principal Secretary for Broadcasting and Telecommunications. Mr. Peter Caberia, the Principal Secretary for Mining. Ms. Safina Kwekwe, Principal Secretary for Tourism. Professor Coletta A. Suda, Principal Secretary for Gender. Finally, fellow Kenyans, I have made appointments of the following as Chief Administrative Secretaries. Dane Dado, the Chief Secretary for Interior and Coordination of National Government. Patrick Olentutu, Chief Administration, Administrative Secretary for Labor and Social Protection. Andrew Timur, Chief Administrative Secretary for Water, Sanitation, and Irrigation. Abdul Bahari, Chief Administrative Secretary for Devolution and Assal. 
Lawrence Karanja, Chief Administrative Secretary for Industrialization, Trade, and Enterprise Development. Peter Odoyo, Chief Administrative Secretary for Defense. Maureen Magoma Mbaka, Chief Administrative Secretary for ICT, Innovation, and Youth Affairs. Winnie Gushu, Chief Administrative Secretary, the State Law Office. Wavinyandeti, Chief Administrative Secretary for Transport. Zakaria Kenudia Mugure, Chief Administrative Secretary for Education. Mumina Bonaya, Chief Administrative Secretary for Education. Lina Chebi Kelimu, Chief Administrative Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries, and Cooperatives. Anne Mukami Nyaga, Chief Administrative Secretary for Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries, and Cooperatives. Mercy Mwangangi, Chief Administrative Secretary for Health. And finally, Nadia Ahmed Abdallah, Chief Administrative Secretary for ICT Innovation and Youth Affairs. I would want Kenyans to note that seven of these appointments to the position of Chief Administrative Secretary are young Kenyans, some below the age of 30. These Chief Administrative Secretaries, I hope will work and indeed under study their more experienced colleagues in government with the aim of readying themselves to assume senior leadership positions in the near future. I expect that these young trainee ministers, so to speak, will be a model to all their fellow young people and also instill preach the high ideals of patriotism, excellence in public service, and most importantly, integrity. I congratulate each and every one of them for this appointment, and indeed, I look forward to working with all of them.